Blood oh, and guts oh, he's gonna show it. Oh, he and showed it. Never quite oh, the that was awesome. The that was awesome. Hello, hello, everybody. It's your boy Prof Chaff, and we're back again with another video by your boy, the Critical Drinker. Mortal Kombat Flood Victory. Okay. First off, I've seen Mortal Kombat. I saw it three days ago. Story time. My cousin was like, yo, bro, want to go watch uh, Mortal Kombat? I was like, my guy, you know it's going to be a shit movie, right? He goes like, yeah, but it probably has decent fight scenes. Watch the movie. It was a shit movie. Story was garbage. Uh, it had good fighting scenes. I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Enjoyable? Nothing memorable, but enjoyable. Not bad. I hope they make another one. Kind of. You know, it was like dumb enjoyment for me. Nothing that I will remember for the rest of my life. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Sometimes we need movies like this. I, I, I think everyone's like too focused on making movies like the most spectacular thing ever. That they forget that a lot of movies that we liked growing up were nothing that spectacular. But they were fun. Okay, we need some movies like this. Mortal Kombat is a dumb as fuck movie with paper thin characters, questionable acting, and a ludicrous plot that makes about as much sense as any. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. My. My boy, chill out. You did not. Bro, you can't go. Yo. It's like going inside the first round of an MMA match with a fucking knee to the opponent's face and knocking him out in five seconds. Sorry. Amy Schumer still getting acting gigs. But it's also unpretentious, self aware fun if you're willing to disengage your brain for a couple of hours and a surprisingly good stab at adapting a classic fighting game True. into some kind of structured True. movie. I mean, let's be honest here, the benchmark isn't exactly high. The and, and, listen, a lot of people don't seem to, you know, process this, but Mortal Kombat story, <laughs> listen, uh, when you think about it, like, the game story, it ain't that special as well. Like, come on. The only thing that I was mad about is they don't got my boy Johnny in this fucking movie. Uh, it's teased for the next one, but yeah, it was good. I like Original it. Mortal Kombat from that, that was complete dog a shit. More credit than I think it deserves. That's dog relying shit. on a potent combination of nostalgia, kick-ass techno soundtrack, I and deliberately schlocky direction to disguise the fact that it's really kind of shit. And as for the sequel, well, the less said about that one, the better. You're alive. Too bad. I don't you think I've seen this one as well. Will die. <laughs> Don't do the fart scene, don't do it, don't do the fart scene. But if the past okay. 10 years have taught us anything at all, it's that Hollywood is always game for a remake. And in True. this case, I think they pulled off the near impossible and actually improved on the original with this one. Are you serious? That's not to say it's particularly good or anything, but at least it's heading in the right direction. Anyway, let me see if I can make some kind of sense of this. The movie begins in feudal Japan, where a gang of ninjas okay, okay. led by Wait, before we continue. For all the people that have seen this movie, which one was your favorite character and which one you hated? I gotta be honest with you, I love my boy. Wait, what was his name? I forgot his name. The dude with the eye. <laughs> Laser. He was a cunt. I loved him. The dude I hated, main character. Main character was... What the f... Bro. I hated that guy. I don't even remember his name. You're supposed to be the main... You're supposed to capture my soul, bro. You didn't capture shit. And another thing I gotta say, executions. Good job. I'm glad they made them as gruesome as they needed to be. Zero attack Hanzo Hasashi's home, killing his wife and kids, and eventually him as well. But instead of just dying like a normal person, he kind of explodes in a fiery mass and vanishes. He uh, goes to hell. Okay. Flash forward to the present day, and a war is going on between factions from two different realities. On the one side, the good guys led by the thunder god Raiden represent the people of Earth. On the other, the baddies led by Shang Tsung represent the forces of a barren alternate universe known as Outworld. Fuck. Every so often, chosen warriors from both realms have to fight each other in an epic tournament known as Mortal Kombat, with the fate of both realms hanging in the balance. Who exactly chooses these fighters and why? How is this tournament arranged Fate. and judged? Are there Fate. referees? Fate. Why would an evil sorcerer bent on planetary conquest Fate. adhere to such an agreement? Why does he want to conquer Earth so badly Stop. anyway? Stop. If there's no particular rules to these fights, then what's to stop you taking a gun into your fight and just fucking shooting your opponent? Why does Sub-Zero not age in 300 years? 
Don't know. Anyway, whatever. The point is that Earth Realm has <laughs> lost the last nine tournaments, and if they lose one We're more, trash. then Shang Tsung takes control of everything. So the objective is to find the chosen <laughs> warriors from Earth and prepare them for what's coming next. Enter Cole Young, a block of wood MMA fighter with a spotty record and a mysterious dragon birthmark, who soon comes under attack from Sub-Zero, only to get rescued by Sonya Blade and Jax, oh. a pair of former military operatives that have been trying to learn the secrets of Mortal Kombat. Before you can say contrived plot device, they've soon fallen in with a mercenary named Kano, and they travel to Rise. Kano, Kano, my boy, he carried this movie for me. He was hilarious. To begin their I training loved him. With a couple of other characters that only fans of the game will even recognize. Naturally, Shang Tsung wants to of stop course. them before they're able to master their full power, so he launches an all-out attack on the temple. But Raiden raises a magic bullshit shield around the place to stop him getting in. It's a bit like Wakanda from the MCU, only more believable. But wouldn't you know it, the asshole that's been acting shifty sure. for the whole movie ends up betraying them, and from then on, it's basically every man for himself. A fighting tournament of sorts emerges. Who could have predicted this? So the final act of the movie is basically a chaotic conglomeration of different fights, until everyone that's left ends up wailing on Sub-Zero without mercy. Shit man, even Hanzo comes back to life just so he can burn the Beat guy alive. Ass. <laughs> and the movie ends with Shang Tsung promising to come back in the next movie and finish this once and for all. That was so Meanwhile, cool. Meanwhile, Cole sets out show, to find show, the protagonist oh, with more charisma it. than a block of wood. And that's it. That's the plot for Mortal Kombat. You know, it's a funny sort of movie to review because pretty much everything I would look for in a film like this is basically irrelevant in this case. Plot? Yeah. Forget it, it's just an excuse to facilitate the next fight scene. None of it makes a lick of sense, True. and none of the outlandish world building is explained or expanded upon. True. Characters? Nah, they're not really a thing here. None of them have got more depth than a puddle of piss, and for the life of me, I'll never understand why they chose Cole Young for the main character. Not only is he boring as fuck compared to the established Mortal Kombat regulars, but he's played by an actor that avoids charisma in the same way Melissa McCarthy avoids salad bars. Damn, bro, she's ate, she's eaten like three humans. Whatever. Main character, by the way, what the fuck are his powers? Legit dude put out an Iron Man suit with uh, tonfas. Huh? And he beat one of my favorite characters from the games in like two seconds. That was, uh, like, introduced as the big badass. My boy, four jerk hands, gets whooped in like two. I'm true. I'm still true. Seriously, Damn. you've got Liu Kang, Liu Kang was awesome. Sonya Blade and Jax in your movie. Actor was you good as well. This fucking nobody to be the voice of the audience. She Jesus, had I've seen cash. Your personality in a Captain Marvel fan club. Jeez. Kano at least gets to have some much needed fun. Leave it to a big file mouth fucking Aussie yes. in the tone. It feels like all the charisma had to be sucked out of the other characters just to sustain him, but Damn. it's worth it to give us a character that's actually enjoyable to yes. watch. It's just a shame he gets his ass kicked by basically everyone, yes. so he's never really allowed to present a threat. Yes. But let's be honest here, you don't exactly watch a Mortal Kombat movie for the thought provoking storylines and nuanced characters. True. You're here because you want to see Bull people the shit out of that each was so other. bullshit. And to be fair, the movie delivers on its violent source material in a way the 90s original never could. There's plenty of blood. Oh, and guts oh he's gonna show it. Oh, he showed it. it. Never quite oh, reaches the that was awesome. Of the that games, was awesome. At least it doesn't feel like a total cop out either. But I can't help. I am so triggered that they, they did not pull out anyone's spine during this. Not one spine was pulled out. It doesn't feel like a total cop-out either. But I can't help but think, if you've already got the R rating, you should probably go for broke and just hit the audience with everything you've got. The fight choreography could charitably be described as solid rather than spectacular, yeah. occasionally dragging on for a bit too long, True. and clearly some of the actors are more competent fighters than others, but the movie usually delivers just <laughs> enough action and gore to hold your interest. Just imagine how much more engaging it would have been if you'd actually cared about any of the characters. <laughs> and in that sense, it does feel like a little bit of a wasted opportunity, like it could have been so much more. Overall though, Mortal Kombat is a simple, unpretentious, un demanding action movie that knows exactly what it is and who it's appealing to. 
Fans of the games will probably get a kick out of all the characters, references, in jokes, and special There's moves. There's a lot of Almost references. Normal people will come away wondering what the fuck they just people. watched. It certainly isn't going to win any awards, and anyone expecting a martial arts extravaganza like the raid is definitely going to end up disappointed. Yeah. But neither does it make any attempt to preach, pander, or lecture, True. which in 2021 is practically an endorsement all by itself. <laughs> just like Godzilla vs. Kong, Mortal Kombat is the probably kind of should watch that. Kick back with a few beers and enjoy without expending a single brain cell from start to finish. And to be honest, sometimes I think that's all you really need. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Go away now. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think about this movie. Rate it for me. I want to see your ratings. I give it a 6. Enjoyable, not anything special, but it was fun. <sighs> yeah, I like this movie. Okay, I'm glad he did not shit on it. Uh, to be honest, I was a little afraid of watching this video because Drinker is a little. He goes hard on the you know bad things, and I was expecting him to completely shit on this movie. He did not completely shit on it. I like his take on this. I I love his take on this actually. I'm glad. I'm glad he did not shit on it. There is also this video that I really want to check out. Him fixing Game of Thrones. A lot of people have been doing this. Uh, I truly don't want to. I was. <laughs> The thing I wanted to do with Game of Thrones is I kind of wanted to wait for the books to be written and then, you know, try to look back on Game of Thrones, the TV series. But the way they're going, the fat fuck is going to die before he finishes the books and I'm going to be triggered for the rest of my life. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Anyway, uh, if you want to see more critical drinker reactions by a boy, playlist up here. Check out the critical drinker. Dude's awesome. And quick thank you to the YouTube members and patrons. Thank you all for the support. I really appreciate y'all. And have a nice day, everybody. Bye-bye.